think it was Aristotle um, or Plato. Well, I guess Plato was Aristotle's disciple. Um, you know, so he kind of brought that fresh perspective. But the funny thing is, you know, Plato and Aristotle, they're not different diverging mentalities. You know, they don't exist in a separate space. They are the same coin, different sides of it, you know. And you got to be multifaceted. You got to be multifaceted. You got, you know, it's if you're if you're if you're able to read some of Aristotle's works and you should, man. I'm telling you there are there are oh, nuggets in there talking about gold, man. You know, there are nuggets in there, nuggets of truth. Um, and he's a man, you know, he, he, that's thousands of years ago. You know, that knowledge exists. You know, it's in writing. It's in books. You know, all of that stuff is in books. But if you're capable of, of being taught by that man, Aristotle, then you need to be capable of being taught by Plato. You can't read one and not the other, you know, with, with any book. It's like if, if you're capable of disagreeing with it, or having the mental capacity to even comprehend it, then you can form an opinion on it. Do I agree with that? Do I disagree with that? If you're able to do that, read the book. 